Do a web search on hydrogen fuel cell cars and you will find that all top American, German and Japanese car manufacturers are currently experimenting with hydrogen technology. These car manufacturers believe, and environmentalists agree, that hydrogen is the perfect alternative renewable fuel solution. Cars fueled by hydrogen leave no trace of pollution except for a bit of clean water vapor. Could this be the perfect solution? Perhaps. But this technology will require a huge multi-billion dollar infrastructure change to make the switch to hydrogen fueling stations. Despite several advances in technology, the reality of a hydrogen-fueled car appearing on the street is still many decades away. Or worse, may never be, due to impractical and overly complicated fuel cell car design. In the meantime, fossil fuel resources may run out within your children's lifetime. However, there is hope. There is one hydrogen-powered car in the world that doesn't need a filling station. The car you're about to see runs on tap water from your kitchen faucet. It was developed by Daniel Dingle, who invented and drove his first water-powered car over 30 years ago. This is his story. Hi, so we're at the home of Daniel Dingle, Filipino inventor, who's here to show us a few of his inventions, which includes the uh, uh, car fueled with seawater. This is Mr. Daniel Dingo. So I started the, uh, this invention way back 1968. It's already about 30 years ago, and I keep still keep improving it and improving it because in any invention there is always room for improvement. It is very difficult to accept that there is one car invented by an ordinary person like him now running on the road, it's just using water as fuel. But the principle involved is something universal. Just plain hydrolysis of water and using the hydrogen from the water molecule as a fuel. So I started with that and then I... What I did is I went to see the president, former president Marcos, and then explain my invention that could help our economy. The president uh, welcomed the idea, but the problem is <coughs> there was a coup d'etat, so everything fails. And then comes another president, and to see the president, uh, Cory Aquino, and then as a matter of fact, he rides with the car with me. Uh, he was with me in the car, testing the car. And he said that, uh, this is the miracle I have been waiting for. But uh, sad to say that after uh, two weeks, I was able to know that the government is not in the position to help. Uh, it's not only a matter of scientific uh, problem that we are confronted with. In fact, uh, it becomes, the issue becomes more political than anything else. Because under the agreement between the IMF and the World Bank, our country is under obligation by the IMF and the World Bank, not to produce anything that will compete their product. And then, so the 40% oil tax, there will be no more revenue for the government. But I told him that, sir, it will prolong the life of the people, because there will be no more pollution. So I keep working on it, and then improving my invention, maybe thinking that one day, someday, uh, maybe, this invention will be used and uh, it will help humanity. Now we go to the car. This here is the water. You need one liter of water to run for one hour. Yeah. You see this one here? Oh, there you go. You see, uh, that is water, okay? So when you put that one there, it's light. But that is water already. See, this one here is water. Oh. It is not supposed to, to light the, the bulb. 
because it's supposed to destroy, because there is water. It's like in electricity when there is water. See that water here? You, you touch, the, you touch the, the water. There is no current. But it, there is a current, you know, see? But there is light. You see? Yeah. So you remove that. See, there is the water. That is uh, the easiest way to split the water. Now here is the switch. You put the switch on here, or uh, using that battery, see, it immediately hydrogen, oxygen uh, is being produced. Oh. See? And then the bigger, the bigger uh, balls there goes in here. It goes to the uh, here, and then it goes direct to the combustion chamber. But there is a regulator here which regulates the hydrogen that is needed in the engine. See, and then the oxygen goes here. So what uh, you, when you start the engine, you remove this, the engine stops. Okay, now then he, no, I show you. You remove the battery, so you see the, the battery. That using only one battery. All right, I'll sit, put the switch on. See? No, 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 no lights without battery. And then you put the battery. Oh, you see. So there is already the splitting of hydrogen. Using only that small battery. Mm. I was able to split the water uh, in a very minimal car current. That is the trade secret of the invention. You start the engine and start. See? You need about four to five turns before it runs because there is no fuel pump. It creates first hydrogen being sucked into the intake manifold. Since hydrogen is 14 times lighter than air, it goes immediately to the combustion chamber. So what you do here, you remove this one here. Now this is the fuel cyst line. You remove this, the engine stops. You smell. You smell if there is fuel. If you, is this water? Yeah. No, no, you smell it. If there is gasoline. Oh. This is what I'm